Hello there and welcome. This is Nayeli. I've got a really exciting video for you guys today. I have this love for mystery boxes. I want to say subscription boxes, but not necessarily because I don't like having to pay for boxes every month or so. But what I really like is the element of surprise. I like knowing that I'm going to get something, but not knowing exactly what it is. I don't know. It's just really fun and thrilling for me. So because I have become a very big fan of BTS in the recent couple of years, I was very curious to try out one of their boxes so when i was trying to find a box that was to my liking i came across the brand called clute uh, i think that's how you pronounce it it's k-l-o-o-t and this company's i think is pretty cool because they have varieties of boxes so from what i found you can get just korean skincare as a clue box or you can also get k-pop merch as your box as well and sometimes you can even merge them for a little bit of an extra cost but it would still be saving you more money than if you didn't bundle them so the really cool thing about it too is that you can customize the type of k-pop group that you are standing or that you are a fan of so they have a lot of options of course they have bts they also have itzy and twice which i love I was like, ah, should I buy another one? But it was kind of pricey just for one, so I don't think that I would purchase three of them or more. So yeah, I think they have like Stray Kids, Monster X, EXO, and you can even narrow it down even further to your bias or the member that you like the most. I had a hard time with that one, but ultimately I ended up picking Jin, so I'll just have to see what I end up getting from this box. It's a pretty large box in size. So if you're only buying this as a one-time thing, then you are paying about $54.99 or something like that. Let's just round up and say $55 plus tax and all that stuff. Um, shipping and whatnot, but of course you only get it that one time. However, they do also have the option as a subscription box for you to receive items every three months. It's $49.90 something, so again, rounding it's about $50. In addition, if you want to get skincare products along with it, on the website it says that you can get two full-size Korean skincare products for $26 something. So Let's just round up again to $27 when normally those items are worth $50 together. So you are saving quite a bit of money if you decide to do the bundle. Let's see what it has in store. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys the box. So here's the box right here. It's pretty big. The equivalent of four of my heads. Just kind of measure that how you will. It's like the size of my table here in front of me. On the top and bottom, it's a double wrap and on the sides, it's also double. But like on the thinner part where you can see that it says clue, just like one. But it is quite covered if you guys can tell. So I genuinely really appreciate that they put in the time and effort to do this for us because we don't know exactly are in the contents of this box. In case it's something fragile, it's good to know that it's covered. I don't think on the website it specified how many items you get, but let me tell you guys more or less what we can expect from this box. Oh, this is cute. It's fan-made K-pop merchandise and Korean snacks. So you can find a surprise with items ranging from photo cards, keychains, stationery, accessories, Bottles, apparel, skincare, chips, ramen, biscuits, candies, chocolates, and more. So a lot of snacks are going to be put in here, which is really exciting. I'm probably going to get to taste some of these Korean snacks. It's really, really cool. I'm like getting hyped up right now. It mentioned skincare, but I don't think that they're going to throw skincare in there. If they will, then I would assume it'd be just like a small little thing because they also have their additional bundle for skincare, so I really doubt that there's going to be a full size in there. I really doubt it. So, okay, enough talking. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this, and I'm going to remind you guys that I chose Jin as my bias for this box, so you guys will probably be seeing Jin things. Although I think they say if they run out of things, then obviously they'll give you someone else, which is totally fine. I mean, I had a hard time deciding just in general, but... I really like Jin. I think he's such a cool guy. He's like such a grandpa, but such a sweet guy. So I love them all, but I picked Jin for today's box. 
And then I figured that if I really like this box, then I may consider purchasing another one. Or if I do, you know, maybe choose another member at that point and just kind of change things up because I love all of them. I'm so excited. Okay. On here it says clue box for K poppers. And I wonder if these are actually supposed to be different members of different K pop groups. If so, that would be so cute. Here is what the box looks like. On the back, it very lightly says clue throughout. And then uh, on the side, it says a K pop in box for the ultimate K pop fan. And then it has this cute little guy right here, which. I don't know if this is supposed to be a cat or a bear, but it has a raccoon tail. Regardless, it's cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Okay, so on the on the inside of it, it includes the name of all of the K-pop bands that you can pick from, which is really, really neat. They have Blackpink, Monsta X, TXT, Mamamoo, Super M, Twice, Red Velvet, NCT, uh, Itzy, GOT7, BTS, Oh My Girl, Stray Kids, 17, Girls' Generation. Oh, Eyes One. Eyes One, I forgot too. Sorry about that. I think I mentioned EXO, but I'm not sure. I really appreciate them doing this. And I also like how it has little stripes on here, which basically mean that you can cut this out. I really, really like that. That is super cute. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, I can already kind of see. Okay, let me move this to the side so y'all can see because I can see what you guys can see. Alrighty, so here are some of the contents of the bag. You guys can probably already tell what I kind of screamed about. So first off, some of the things that I see are snacks, which seem to be kind of like chip type of uh, packaging. Okay, so for the first thing that we've got here, I can't read Hangul, I can't read Korean, so I have no idea what this says. I can like kind of make out some of the sounds, but I don't, I wouldn't know what it says. These kind of look like uh, peach gummies to me, and they, they feel like gummies too, so that's probably what they are, just peach gummies. Okay. So for the next one, we have another similar gummy of, of the same brand. Looks like grapes. Look like very photoshopped. Next, we've got these... Uh, I'm not entirely sure if these are supposed to be like actual grapes or what the deal is because it's not like they're kept fresh and cold. Um, but here it looks like they're fresh because there's water right, right by them. But that is the snack. Definitely very interesting. I know it's grape something, but I don't know exactly if it's just grapes or some sort of a variation of a snack that tastes like grapes. Okay, so for this uh, last snack, Zillatol Anytime Mints, I think is what they are. They kind of look like lifesavers to me, but not the good gummy lifesavers, but like the hard lifesavers. Xylitol to me sounds like, I feel like I've heard this before. It's supposed to be like sugar, gum, or mint, something along those lines. I don't know. This one doesn't look too tasty, but I mean, if your breath smells, this is probably what you would want to use. So this is pretty cool. I like that. I think that's about all of the snacks. I am going to go ahead and show you guys some of the other things. So next we've got cute little RJ. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so small and cute. It's like its head is just like that. <laughs> But its little body is so tiny. And I like how it has its little handkerchief here for when it gets cold. <laughs> oh, I like this so much. Oh, I'm so happy that I have one. I don't actually own any of the AT21 items, so it's really fun to finally have one of them. I feel like the bag had tape inside of it. I don't know, so a lot of things were sticking together. So I ended up ripping up this part right here. There's some article of clothing in here. Yeah, that's probably better. Oh, oh, okay, I'm seeing things. Oh my god, I see Jin right here. Look at his worldwide handsome face. Oh, okay, it is a t shirt. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it includes Jin's face on the front. 
as well as on the back. So it seems like they took off a lot of the tags and then the logo right here is a little bit fuzzy. It just says ARMY. But yeah, so to me it really just looks like a t-shirt that has Jin's face printed on it. And the other thing too is that you can include your t-shirt size. I chose a medium. This doesn't really look like a medium to me so I'm wondering if these are more like unisex sizes. Um, that's probably what I'm assuming because this looks a little bit large to be a medium. But regardless, I'm happy to have it. The quality of the actual printout right here, it feels very different from the actual shirt. So you know that it was printed or whatever kind of process that they do to kind of put this on a t-shirt. Um, and then the back feels the same way. So I mean, I wasn't expecting like this crazy amount of quality, but I also kind of was expecting a little bit more of a better quality. So I'm kind of a little bit torn about that. But regardless, I'm still happy to have something that is gin. Well, you know, one thing that I did want to mention actually to you guys about quality is that if you guys have ever purchased any items from the Weavers shop, which is supposed to be like the best. I feel like there's like the stigma of like if you're gonna get true BTS items and you're supposed to get it from the Weaver shop. I feel like there's a lot of people who think that way. I feel like that's there's a lot of issues with that because if you've ever purchased anything from their specifically clothing, it's honestly not great quality either. Like it also feels like they're just t-shirts that they like just the regular old t-shirt and then they just print the big hit or hive tag on there but sometimes the quality especially if you're paying like anywhere from 25 to 60 dollars for just a t-shirt it's just the quality is really not that amazing either well obviously i want to support bts through the weaver shop because you know that's probably where they get actual money from I just feel like as an individual um, and as a lot of armies as well, you know, we try to spend our money on BTS, whether it's, you know, tickets for their upcoming concerts, which hopefully I hope that they do soon because I wasn't able to get into permission to dance on stage live in LA. But hopefully as they continue to become available in more concerts and us watching their YouTube videos and streaming them, invest in them in other ways. But when it comes to to us as an individual, as armies who, you know, a lot of us don't have like a crazy amount of money to where we can be purchasing these things that are really expensive. So I think that options like these are kind of nice because I feel like if you're not going to get something of great quality, then you may as well pay less for it than if you were to pay crazy amounts on weavers to purchase things that honestly aren't going to be like amazingly great quality. I think when it comes to other things, obviously as like the CDs and things like that, keychains and such, you will get better quality. But when it comes to at least t-shirts, I can't really speak to the jackets and sweaters and things like that. But I have bought two different types of t-shirts on the Weavers app and they weren't fantastic. So with that being said, I don't really want to clock this, especially because, you know, it's it's fans creating these things so i would much rather pay a fan who is just as passionate about bts as i am or as the next person is or as the next army is um and rather kind of give them some of those profits rather than it not so so i'm really sorry if i offended anyone by saying any of these things and regardless i like i'm obviously still gonna wear this i'll probably wear it more like in the house. So then we also have these cute little butter socks. Initially, I thought that this was gonna be a headband, <laughs> but upon opening it up, then you can see that it says butter right here, and then it says hit this button near the top part of the sock. Similar thing, I feel like this has just kind of been printed on it. The theme of this BTS merch is mostly butter. Well, kind of with an exception of little RJ. RJ isn't wearing any butter merch. And last but not least, it looks like I got a bucket hat. Oh wait, it's not over. That's actually not the last thing. I actually saw something else in here. I thought it was just gonna be like a bucket hat, but you turned it around and it says BTS with a little butter rectangle on it. Oh my gosh, and me wearing black, I feel like it's perfect. My earrings don't quite fit the theme, but that's okay. This is so cute. I 
It's really funny because I feel like I never really would have seen myself purchasing a bucket hat but now that I have it I feel like this is pretty cool and you know you can probably wear this to actually I don't know if you were to go to a concert if it's allowed for you to wear hats but it's a possibility and there's no better place than a BTS concert to wear a butter hat what's really cool about this is that on the inside it has you know kind of like the black lining so I would argue that it's reversible but then you would just have like some yellow peeking through Kind of like the sides and the bottom but i don't mind it because then that basically means that you have two bucket hats Alrighty, so last but not least this is actually the last and final thing it is a bts map of the soul one photo card oh my gosh okay yeah so these definitely are photo cards. Let me take this off. So these definitely are photo cards. Um, I don't think that they're like the original ones. I've never purchased photo cards myself so I can't really compare them. But I think that if you were to purchase that on Weavers, you would probably get a better quality card. And what I mean by that is that these look more matte to me. They have a little bit of a shine, but ultimately they, they do, the card itself feels more matte than like sleek and shiny as you would probably expect from a photo card. But irregardless, I feel like that's not something that is like a huge deal breaker for me. I quite frankly am very intrigued. Okay, so. So I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but when I kind of put it under the light, you can kind of see that it has that matte effect. It's not necessarily like sleek and shiny, but to be perfectly honest, I feel like when it comes to cards, the quality isn't as important as much as it is to have the face of your bias. You know what I mean? I feel like that's probably more important. So I'm just showing you guys a couple of them. <laughs> he looks so innocent right here. Kind of interesting because on some of them you will see some of the members being cut off. Like right over here on this side. So who's getting cut off? It's J-Hope and V. But J-Hope is arguably getting way more cut out than V is. I feel like with these because they probably don't have like an extra layer of protection. It's more difficult, or I guess I would say it's easier for them to get messed up. Oh wow, I'm actually getting a lot of Jimin on these, <laughs> which is good. Yeah, so you can definitely see here that the faces of the members and just the overall picture doesn't look very clear. It just kind of depends on the card that you're looking at. But for the other ones, I feel like the quality was not bad. For example, you know, here again, our boy Jimin. Looking fly as always. But yeah, this one looks a lot better. Look at him, here he is in all his glory. Look at his little forehead peeking through. <laughs> Dang, I'm really surprised that I've gotten so many Jimin pictures on here. <laughs> it's funny because when I told you guys I was having such a hard time, I feel like they were like my top two, either Jimin or Jin to get as the star of the show. But oh my god. Oh my god, look at how good Hoseok looks right here. B. <laughs> WWH Worldwide the Handsome Oh his smile His smile is everything Ooh I'm so glad I got a couple more of Jin <laughs> And so this one here of J Hope actually is not very clear It just kinda depends Bruh Oh my gosh it looks so good there I feel like I'm really trying hard to keep it together and not to get called Jin because even though he is my bias, I want to keep it classy. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so good looking. <laughs> okay, and this is the final card that I got. The bad thing I feel like about this material in the postcards is that you may run the risk of getting some of the oils on your fingertips 
on the cards and then that kind of messes them up so that's something to be mindful about however I am still really happy that I was able to get those um, actually since I have finished opening up everything um, so when it comes to the items I got the photo cards that's one I got the hat which was two um, three which are the socks and four which is the shirt and five which is RJ so kind of putting this all together we have five BTS merch items so I think I'm actually gonna go back and try this little menthol mint they each individually come in its own little wrapper that's an interesting shape that it has to it do y'all see like the little white layer in the middle initially it has like a really like sweet almost creamy taste to it and the reason why I made that face is that it kind of tastes almost like cake but at the same time also like jarabe, like that liquid medication that you would take as a kid. In the center, it can taste a lot more of like the mintiness. It's so interesting. Like that little candy does have a little bit of like the sweet and also the element of the mint. So probably by the end of it, your breath will smell better. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of the little peach gummies. <laughs> This is kind of funny. Oh my god, that is kind of weird because it looks kind of like a bug. Oh, but it definitely smells like peach. Artificial peach, like sugary peach. Okay, so it's really soft. It's a light peach color. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet. Obviously because it's a candy, of course it's gonna have sugar in it. I was probably expecting it to be a little bit sweeter. Hot, sweet, cool, bud. Mmm, I like it. I really like it. What the heck, I'm just gonna try them all. Next I'm trying the little frambuesa or... It smells like the Grape Jolly Ranchers. It's really cute up close, it just looks like a little bunch of grapes. For some reason, this one is easier to bite through than the peach one. It has more of like a powdery taste to it. It's definitely a typical grape kind of candy, but in a soft gummy version. Since I've tried all of them, I might as well just try this one too. I'm kind of scared of it. I like that they come in their own individual little wrappers. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm already negatively biased towards it because I don't like hard candy. But I guess it kind of tastes like a grape. Not fully. It's a lot less sweet, but yeah, I'm just... Not a huge fan of it. If you are into hard candy, then you might like this, but because I don't, I'm not the fan. Okay, so I think that we've reached the end of this little unboxing. Well, not little, it's, it was kind of a large unboxing, not gonna lie. We got the five K-pop merch items, and then we got a total of four Korean snacks. All in all, a total of nine items that you get in this box. And if you do the one-time purchase, that's about $55. If you were to do it every three months or their seasonal subscription box, then it would be about $50 at every purchase. And of course, if you add on the skincare bundle, it would be, I think, an additional $25 to your 50. So it would be about $75 if you were doing it um, month to month. So because because I did a one-time purchase, um, it was about $55 for all of these items. I want to say that if you were to ask me if this is worth the money when it comes to quality and the number of items, I would probably say that it is worth the price. If you are a little bit more financially conscious, then this is kind of what my recommendation for you would be. I feel like these types of boxes are a really great alternative. Not only is it fun and a surprise, but the overall price is honestly gonna be pretty similar than if we were to get like one t-shirt from the Weavers website. So here not only are you getting five uh, BTS products, but you are also getting four little snackies along with that and you're able to kind of taste through the Korean culture if you continue doing this merch box and if you also decide to do the skincare bundle and go on that route then you're also able to find different products of different brands that maybe you didn't know about before you might find something that you really enjoy so I feel like that's really cool I think what would be really cool is if one day you go to Korea and you find these snacks you'd be like oh my god I've tasted those before I feel like there's a lot of awesomeness in this little box and of course I, I also am really happy that I got this RJ because this one I believe is from the B21 brand because it has a little tag up here and it looks really genuine so I really really like that and then in addition the quality of this bucket hat is pretty 
thick. So I genuinely like that. I feel like it's something that's gonna last you a really long time. It has kind of like that shine on both sides. So I genuinely think that you will get a variety in the quality of the things, but still the pricing I think is really fair for the amount of things that you are getting. I feel like it's worth giving it a try if you are curious about it. I'm still not entirely sure if I'm willing to buy the quarterly subscription box only because I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing BTS products or you know any kind of K-pop merch products that often in general if I wouldn't have the subscription box that's also something to think about you know if if you just want to do a one-time purchase or if you only want to purchase it two times out of the year at the beginning and at the end or whenever you decide to do it then maybe doing the one-time purchase would be for you or if you maybe just want to do it once a year treat yourself to like the $55 box so that's totally fine but if you have the extra cash and if you're okay with spending it on the quarterly box then that is totally fine as well I think either option is good as far as how long it took to ship to me I forgot to mention that earlier I looked at the date of when I got my email confirmation so I had made the order on September 25th of this year and the funny thing is that I actually received it yesterday which was October 25th of this year so it took exactly a whole month for it to arrive you know from the process of shipping and then to receive it it took a month so it's not like it shipped and then it took a month you know what I mean it's like I ordered it on the 25th, I received it on the 25th of the next month. So that was pretty neat. Um, I thought that it was probably going to take around this long, maybe even longer. Um, so I would definitely say, especially because of the pandemic, do not expect for it to arrive in less than a month. If it does, consider yourself lucky, that's amazing. But especially if you're getting it from somewhere in the US or you know this part of the world, you know, the Western part of the world, then I would definitely say to to wait for it for about a month. Um, when I was looking at the shipping updates, it was coming from China. So it is not something that comes from Korea directly. Um, I believe the people who created this are not Korean. I'm actually not sure myself. Um, everything is in English. Little um, card right here, it says that the founder of this company is called Justin, so I'm not fully sure where he's from. But yeah, as far as the actual box and the shipment that you're going to be receiving is coming from China. So do expect some wait time and especially because of the pandemic, things are going to be running a little bit slower than usual. So yeah, that marks the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this was helpful if you were interested in purchasing a subscription box, um, whether it's for K-pop or not. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Were there any items that you were surprised about? Were there some things that you liked or that you didn't? Please do let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!